Hello people, I have decided to do a shop your stash slash weekly makeup drawer type video. I think this is going to be really good for me because I have so much stuff and a lot of it just doesn't get used and I really want to use it because I like it. So I've gotten this idea from lots of you guys. I'm thinking specifically of glam moms here. Um, but yes, so I'm going to share with you the makeup that I have picked out to focus on this week. And my intention here was to pick two of everything, one drugstore and one high end, uh, so that I can kind of get a mix and make sure that I'm giving these products the attention they deserve, giving them a real good, um, trial so I know if they're actually good. Some of them are beloved favorites, other than, others are new to me. So let's get started and I will show you what I'm going to be using this week. So I started with primer and I picked two primers. Both of these are samples. I am going to be using the L'Oreal Youth Code Texture Perfector Pore Vanisher. That's my drugstore one. And then my high-end one is the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer that I have tried once. I think I liked it, but I'd like to give it a little bit more of a trial. And next, we have foundation. The two that I chose for high-end, I chose the Buxom Show Some Skin Weightless Foundation. My color is Dim the Light. And I also chose the Physician's Formula Nude Wear, what is this called? Nude Wear Touch of Glow Foundation. I think this is a really, really interesting foundation. I've tried it a few times and I have to say, so far I like it. Um, the reason I say it's interesting is because it looks really dark coming out of the bottle, but then when you put it on it lightens and I don't know what's going on there. I, uh, I want to give this more of a chance, um, more of a shot, because I think this could be one of my favorites if I play with it enough and figure out how it best performs. All right, next concealer, I chose the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Flawless Wear Concealer because I like it. It's great. And I also chose the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Brightening Eye Perfector. This is really more of an under eye product, um, but that's really where I use concealer the most. Let's see what next. Then let's do contour slash bronzer. I chose a new one that I haven't really played with, the e.l.f. Cool Bronzer. Um, each of these shades is unique. They each have a little bit different tone, but mixed together, they actually make a pretty decent contour color. So. I'm going to play around with that one, and I also pulled out my Bare Minerals All Over Face Color in a Little Sun Matte. So this is really more of a reddish, um, true bronzer. And then blush. What did I pull out for blush? I pulled out the, um... The Balm In Stain in, what, what color is this anyway? Houndstooth. This is an old favorite, such a pretty color. Um, and then I also pulled out the e.l.f. Blush Palette in Dark. I haven't tried this at all, I just swatched it and the colors are really pretty and really pigmented. Uh, I think that's gonna be fun. For highlights, I pulled out the Bare Minerals Advanced Clear Radiance, all of our face color. I'll show you what that looks like. It's got a slightly peachy tint to it. And then I also pulled out the Ulta Illuminating Powder, which is another one that's new to me. Um, let's see. I have swatches all over me. That's a little bit, I would say, champagne. So I'm going to play around with that one, too. Powder. I've got two here. I've got the Rimmel Stay Matte. Everybody knows about that one. And then the Smashbox, let's see, how does this open? There we go. Um, this is the grinding one. I think this is supposed to be a foundation. 
hydrating perfecting powder. I don't know. I've seen this advertised as both a foundation and a finishing powder. Um, I've only played with this once or twice and I was pretty ambivalent about it. So that was a while ago. I've had this for a while. So I'm going to give this more of a try this week and see what I really think of it. Um, eyeshadow primers. I pulled out the NARS. This is a sample Pro Prime. This, the few times I've used this, this has seemed really, really good. So I want to give that a real good shot this week because I might want to buy the full size. And I also pulled out the Black Radiance Perfecting Eyeshadow Primer. This one's new to me. I got it in a um, kit. I haven't even tried it yet. We'll see how that works. And let's see. Eyeshadow palettes. Okay. I pulled out the La Palette Nude 2 from L'Oreal from my drugstore one. It's got dog hair on it. Lovely. Um, I haven't played with this at all. I've just swatched it. I have not done any eye looks with it. Um, I figure this is good for neutrals. Um, it does have some purples. I think this will probably the, be the one that I use most this week because it's so neutral. We'll see. I know that I like these palettes. They are really good quality and it's such a neutral palette. I should get a lot of use out of it. And then I also pulled out the Urban Decay Vice Limited. This is their new spring one. Oh, look, we don't want all that. <laughs> um, that's just got a lot of springy colors that I'm going to have fun with. I probably won't use that one as much. And eyebrow. I pulled out two that I haven't used very often. I pulled out the Maybelline New York Define a Brow. That's my pencil. And then I also pulled out a powder. I pulled out the Tarte. Amazonian Clay Volumizing Brow Powder in Blonde. Another one that I've only used a couple times. And that's it. That is what I pulled out for the week. I, oh wait, one more. I pulled out a Full Face Tarte um, Rainforest Offer Dark from last year palette. This has highlighter, bronzer, blush, and eyeshadow, six eyeshadows. And I pulled this out just to have, you know, this is kind of like my cheater palette have this around just in case I can't make this stuff work. I've got some stuff I can count on in here. So that is my makeup tray for the week. I, you, as far as blushes, and, I mean brushes, and um, I didn't get any eyeliners, did I? I decided not to do eyeliner just now because I forgot. I'm not doing eyeliner this week. I may pull out a black one, let's see. And I didn't pull out a mascara either, did I? Great job, Amber. You're so prepared. I just got this in my Itsy, Etsy, et, n, Ipsy, <laughs> my Ipsy bag this month. The Bella Pierre Gel Eyeliner. This is in ebony, so I'll, I'll use that one because it's brand new. And let's see, what should I do for mascara? How about, how about the Rimmel Wonder Lash? I like this one. This has a nice volumizing brush and it doesn't make my lashes all um, hard and uh, prickly. It keeps them kind of soft. So that'll be my drugstore one. And for higher end, let's see. How about the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes? That one's always good. Okay. I think that's everything. I didn't do lips because I do lip, I do my, I change my lipstick like five times a day. Um, and there's no way I can pick just one or two lipsticks for the week. And I didn't do, what else did I not do? I think that's it. Yeah. I think this should get me through the week really well. All right, you guys, thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Check out my other videos. Subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, you guys.